Welcome to Man That's Cooking. In this video, we're going to show you how to make chicken carcass soup. What the hell is that? Hey, don't toss that chicken carcass. Turn it into a soup. So we've got ourselves a pretty healthy uh, whole chicken here. And we're going to butcher this up and use it for a barbecue. But we end up with this leftover chicken carcass. And what do you do with that? Well, we're going to show you what to do with that. Now there's plenty of videos on YouTube and the interwebs, and they'll show you how to butcher a chicken. Uh, man here is kind of butchering his way through it, but we'll show you the general idea. Basically with the thighs, you want to pop the joint out and cut through the meat. Next, you want to do the same thing with the drum. You want to pop the uh, joint out or just hack away at it with your knife like that. Either way is going to work, but uh, some birds are a little more difficult than others. And then finally, you want to carve the breast meat off. And you could just start slicing from the center and let the meat kind of pull itself off the ribcage bones. Buying a whole chicken from your grocery store is always cheaper than buying a pre-butchered bird. And with this recipe, we're going to show you how you can stretch that dollar even farther. Now this chicken carcass will have plenty of meat for the soup, but you can always add a wing, you can add a thigh, you can add it to the soup, or you can grill it and add it later. Let's get started with the broth. So what we're going to do is rough cut our veggies. Uh, because these veggies are going to get tossed after we're using them in the broth. So we don't care about getting little bite-sized bits. That's not important. And for our recipe here, you can follow it to a T, or if you've got a bunch of extra celery and carrots, go ahead and add more to it. It's up to you. You can color in the lines, or you can color outside of the lines. Either way, you get a nice picture. And for the herbs, we're just going to toss them in. Doesn't matter at this phase. Now I know we're going through this fast. That's for our viewers with ADD. But the full recipe is posted on this uh, video and it's also on our website. Now you saw the, uh, the neck and some gizzards getting tossed in there. If you've got it, put it in this broth. Alright, so you basically want to cover everything until it's submerged. And then we're going to put this on high until it reaches a boil. And that's going to take a little while. But once it boils, dial the heat back to a uh, medium low. And stir everything up. And cook for one more hour. While your broth is cooking, let's finely chop some of these vegetables for the soup. And you chop it as fine as you want, but this is pretty much good enough here couple sticks of celery it's up to you how many if you're a rabbit add five or six carrots up to you and we're doing a half of an onion but a whole onion works as well and we're chopping garlic cloves here we got about two garlic cloves and now for the herbs you want to make sure that you have the trifecta here thyme rosemary and sage this is always excellent for anything that you do with chicken. And rather than just tossing it in, we're going to make sure that we chop this up nice and finely so that it blends well with the soup. As a shortcut, you might find it easier to do all the veggie chopping for the broth and the soup up front and then start building the broth and so on. Another thing you can do is save all the necks from the whole chickens that you buy. Put them in the freezer and save them for this soup. Alright, it's been uh, two hours that we've cooked this broth. The chicken's nice and cooked. And we're ready to pull out the meat parts. And we're going to put it on this cutting board and let it cool off. Next we're going to pour out the uh, remaining contents into another pot and we're going to filter out all the little chunks and pieces. 
and what you want to do is pick out any neat that you find in there and save that and just toss everything else or if you have a goat give it to your goat after a few minutes the meat will cool down and go ahead and pull it from the bones leaving the bones behind and go ahead and add any additional meat that you might want to add if you barbecued any parts of the uh, whole chicken then pour in the chopped veggies all right we're gonna add the soup back to the burner and we're gonna cook this on a medium low for two hours and we're gonna add some white rice and some navy beans but that's up to you you can add corn black beans food corn flyover if you're watching this video and you have a cold you're gonna get better soon because chicken soup take a look at that is that chunky is that hearty oh yeah it is instead of putting that carcass in the trash and putting it up front and letting the neighborhood raccoons tear it apart on trash day you're gonna have chicken soup instead and you could put this in a glass jar vacuum seal it toss it in your freezer and pull it out when Armageddon happens and you're gonna survive all thanks to man that's cooking we got your back so why don't you go ahead and like subscribe write us some comments check out our website check out our Facebook page we're on Instagram we're on Twitter we're on all that stop by and say hello and as always thanks for watching <laughs>